Hey guys, Brian from Brian Bowes here. Today I want to tell you guys about something I saw the other day that I haven't seen yet in my years of snake keeping, something kind of unusual. And you know, when you have just a few snakes, you probably won't see a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of things that affect snakes pretty rarely, like maybe one out of a thousand or something like that. Um, and if you breed and you, you know, year after year, you're getting lots of babies, eventually you're going to see pretty much everything there is. And that's one of the things I like about breeding. I get to learn new stuff every year. And so this was certainly a new thing for me. So this is my baby Venezuelan boa. As you may know, these guys were born a few weeks ago. Beautiful litter, really happy about them. And I'm gonna give you an update on the whole litter, you know, in a little bit. But what I noticed, this guy didn't show any abnormalities when he was born. But right after he shed, I noticed his eye was really swollen. And here's a few pictures. I hadn't seen this before. What it really looked like to me was almost like a bubble eye, like a bubble eye goldfish. So you can see in these pictures how swollen his eye looks. And there's a, you know another view right there. But you know, really unusual. Um, I did some research about this and figured out it was most likely caused by a clog. Ooh, he's a little pissy today. Uh, maybe because of... Uh, his little eye issue. Anyway, I figured out it was most likely caused by a clogged lacrimal duct. So that's basically the little tube that drains fluid from the eye. So eyes in a snake, just like eyes in a human and other animals, have fluid inside of them that maintains an outward pressure and it gives the eye its inflated uh, appearance. It's important that the pressure within the eye be properly regulated because if you don't have enough pressure, the eye is gonna basically sag and it's not gonna work properly. If you have too much pressure outward, it's going to cause eventually uh, cause damage to the eye. So these fluids are constantly circulating and in a snake, the fluid drains uh, from the eye through the lacrimal duct into the mouth and there's this constant turnover. So what I think happened was somehow his lacrimal duct got clogged leading to a buildup of fluid and pressure in his eye and then it kind of swe swe swelled up like that. So um, the lacrimal duct drains into the mouth and there's like basically two little ducts on either side of the mouth. So I thought maybe there was something that uh, was obstructing it. I looked inside his mouth, I didn't see any obstructions. Since it happened right after he shed, I'm wondering maybe something with the shedding caused that, the, the clogged uh, lacrimal duct. Um, and you know, I've heard about people put, putting pressure on the eye and you know, sometimes they can kind of force the obstruction and you know, force the fluid out. I didn't want to try anything too rough because I didn't want to potentially damage his eye. So I thought I'd just give it a, a few days, see what happens. And so I went ahead and fed him the next day and I figured maybe as he's swallowing the prey item, it might kind of you know mix things up a bit and maybe unclog a blockage. And it appears to have worked because the next day his eye had gone back down to normal. And right now it looks pretty much normal. So I'm hoping that this is done and you know we're not gonna see this again. But I'll just keep a close eye on this guy and make sure that doesn't come back. So I've heard uh, that this condition is relatively common in certain albinos. And uh, I don't think it's genetic, at least in this case, it's you know caused by a clogged lacrimal duct. But it appears possibly to be a genetic predisposition, at least in some of the albinos. And what happens, unfortunately, if the swelling doesn't go down, over time, the increased pressure damages the eye. So these snakes that have it, like some of these albinos, which might have it in one or even both eyes, uh, after they um, have it going on long enough, it's going to basically destroy the eye. And so they'll probably go through a shed cycle and basically shed out the remnants of their eyes and they won't have any eyes. And of course they'll be blind. But other than that, these animals can live a pretty much normal life. You know, snakes are not uh, all that dependent on their eyesight. They have, of course, their great sense of smell and you know, also their heat sensitive pits. Even animals missing eyes can still do quite well and lead pretty much a normal life. They probably can breed also, although you probably wouldn't want to use an animal that has this issue for breeding. Although it's a little controversial, I don't think that this is a genetic thing, at least not in this case. So I highly doubt that if this animal was bred, if he would pass on, you know, the predisposition for this clogged lacrimal duct. Um, 
However, as I mentioned, it, it does seem to affect call albinos and some of the albinos more commonly. So in that case, there might be some sort of a genetic predisposition there. So incidentally, what this really reminded me of when I first saw it are those bubble-eye goldfish. They have you know, the distended eyes at the end of this really uh, swollen, you know, kind of round uh, structure coming out of their head. This isn't the same thing. In the goldfish, this is a genetic condition that's bred for. And as far as I know, it doesn't have any huge negative impact on their eyes. They, you know, can live pretty much normally. But in these snakes, it's not a genetic thing. So you couldn't breed the snake and, you know, have a, your line of bubble eye bell. It's as cool, it or, cool or uncool as you might think that is. Of course, I'm wondering if you guys have seen this before, either in baby or adult boas. And if you have any experience with it, I'd love to hear from you. So please comment in the comments below. And hopefully if you have experiencing this in your own boa, that this is something you can figure out and you know it might go away as in the case of this animal. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.